Hello everyone, this video we're going to learn how to watch the Bird Box camera without internet access. Well, when we talk about the wireless Wi-Fi Bird Box camera, people assume that we have to install this somewhere with internet access. Well, this is only for those who wish to know, you know, when they go out, go to different places, they can still watch the Bird Box where it's just planted at home. Uh, there is also a way that we can watch the bird box without the internet access. Now this is our Green Backyard Wi-Fi bird box camera. This camera is very perfect because it has internal Wi-Fi installed in it and it's perfect for those who don't have internet access for the Wi-Fi bird box camera. Now let me show you how to access the internal Wi-Fi to receive the data and watch the videos without connecting to an internet, uh, internet network. Well, first, when you hear internal network, it kind of seems uh, diff, you know, new to you, a new term. Well, the internal network means there's a small Wi-Fi module installed in here. So, you know, it can be accessed as and provide a hotspot to us for us to access its network. Once you have accessed the Wi-Fi, the internal network, you know, it's like, like a strained connection between your camera and your smartphone or other devices. In that case, there is going to be zero interference and the connection will be very stable. But you'll have to know that because it's a small camera, the Wi-Fi module can't be that big. So the coverage area is around like five to eight meters. So as long as you stay in this range, the Wi-Fi connection is going to be steady and stable. And I will show you guys how to, you know, initially connect to the Wi-Fi camera and its internal network. So first of all, we have to, you know, you have our smart uh, device. In this case, I'm going to use a smartphone because most of us use smartphones these days. So smartphone, you know, we've never connected to our internal network before. So we have a new camera and our smartphone first. We're going to have to, this one is set up right here. We're going to have to click three times fastly, one, two, three, this little button here. This turns it to its hotspot mode. And now its internal Wi-Fi is operating and now we can access it. And then let's take out our phones. And the next thing is to open our Wi-Fi and search for the camera. Usually the starting, the front is, the initials are IPC, which stands for IP camera, I believe. And then we will find it. This one we've connected before. I know it's IPC 9444. So then all the passwords for the cameras to access the internal Wi-Fi is 12345678900. Now we've connect, choose to connect. And why it's connecting, because it's an internal network, it does not have any internet access. So it might pop out a notification saying, yeah, there's no internet access, do you want to connect it anyways? We have to wait and choose connect or we'll jump back to our previous uh, whatever internet access we were linked to. And a second thing to make sure of is we turn off our mobile data. It's turned off already here because when we're accessing a non non-internet uh, Wi-Fi network it might use some data so we don't want that and now let's choose our app there's no devices currently right because we want to want to add it to it to access its network so there's a plus sign on the top right of our interface and we choose more because these are not the cameras we want to add on the one, two, three, four, the fifth selection, AP mode connection. Select device hot. And now it's connected. You can see the connection is very roof a little. So you can see some movement on the screen. This means we're now accessing it. You can see how the speed is quick and the connection is really stable. So yeah, we're successfully accessing the internal network. All right. You guys should know how to do that now, and that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more posting comments, please leave them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.